Hey everyone, this is John from JohnLumber.com and John Lumber Digital on Facebook. Now, many times during the past month, I've talked about Facebook timeline and how important these new tabs or applications are to your success. I think you complete have to completely reassess how you use this area, how you use this functionality. And um, so, I, I previously advocated building your own apps from scratch if you can, or using static HTML. And uh, in both cases, you really need to know some coding. The thing is, and, and I've always kind of strayed, stayed away from stuff like short stack, thinking that uh, it was more cookie cutter than it actually is. And I've since created all of my apps, all eight of my apps with short stack. And I wish I would have done this much sooner since I found it, first of all, makes my life much easier. And I think I'm making much better, cooler looking apps with much richer uh, functionality than I ever could have built myself. So um, I have a much more detailed review at johnlumber.com. Um, the link's below for you to, to check that out. And I will also be... Uh, running some tutorials on uh, specific ways that you can use short stack but this video will be a quick run through of what you can do with this great tool so as I said all these apps were created with short stack so I mean the icons are mine um, but I, I customize the the names and the icons uh, these little icons and, and all the content with within them um, originated from short stack in some cases there are other forms and tools and whatnot that I also use, but they're all ultimately living on short stack. So some cool things about it. Uh, first of all, there are 63 templates that you can start with. So whether you're a you know code junkie or not, I find this to be extremely useful. It's it's a starting place. So th there are various templates uh, for industry. So you got car dealership sports bar, I guess stuff that pulls, pulls in data from Foursquare, support desk, kind of coffee house. I found sub tabs to be very helpful, so you can create separate tabs within the tab, if that makes any sense. Uh, video, event planning, LinkedIn. Again, you can just, there, there are some really good starting places here uh, for standard templates. Uh, it's, it's really useful. And but beyond that, you can create your own templates as well. And if you create a lot of tabs, especially if you're a consultant or you work for an agency, it's especially useful so you don't have to keep starting from scratch over and over and over. Uh, if you did it, did it right once, you can use that as your starting place going forward. So I, I find these templates to be awesome. And uh, you can obviously customize them even when you jump into the template. So don't consider that it cookie cutter in that way. Okay, so let's uh, look look at the the user interface once you're within a tab uh, editing it. You've got all these widgets that you can you can use on the side. So uh, here's here are basic tools, you know, rich text, adding photos, adding links, uh, adding a photo gallery, product widget. Then you can add in these cool Facebook features like commenting and liking and inviting a friend. And one of the one of the greatest things about this tool is that it makes promotions and contests easier. So you can use their templates for contests, but you can also just add in like a promotion widget, a voting widget, an entry count widget. I mean, some great additions there. Uh, integrating in forms, so a custom form or a contact form. It brings in uh, Mailchimp if you use Mailchimp. But all these other things you can integrate as well. So video and Twitter and RSS and SoundCloud, Flickr, Foursquare, Google Analytics, Google Maps, and again, MailChimp. And um, other things, virtual gifts, a poll widget, a countdown. So all these, all these things are really great. But let's say you're, you, you think you know what you're doing and you don't need all that help. Well, you can use plain text, you can use code iframe in information and flash widgets as well so it's all there for you it's it's great <laughs> i've had a lot of fun with it and also um so you can 
you have templates, but you also have themes. So you can um, change all these different, change the theme, uh, different color schemes and, and whatnot as well. So it's a really easy, quick change if, if you wanted to. Um, but if, uh, and if, if, if you wanted to go beyond the theme, you want more control, of course, there's a CSS editor as well. So all that power is there if you want it, if, if you're comfortable with it. Uh, but if, if you're like, hey, I don't know code, I'm not comfortable with that kind of stuff, this is great for you as well. So it's for everybody. So again, so these are my apps. I mean, some examples here. Uh, let me jump into one. So the video tutorials one, I think, is probably a good one. So this utilizes a, uh, a video template. And really, I didn't do much with it. Uh, it was just a video cascade video template that I used and you know I added this uh, graphic at the top but other than that I mean I just pretty much ran, rolled with whatever they offered so you can do that and you can feel free to customize it all you want change backgrounds remove backgrounds whatever so uh, I think it looks pretty good another example of a, I mean again these are all templates I used but I customized some of these other ones a little bit more so I want to stray away from some of them but uh, Pinterest is another one that I used. So here I use the Pinterest uh, template, and really I haven't done anything with this, but uh, just kind of gives you, it, you can follow me on Pinterest, and it, it shows you the recent stuff I've pinned. Really basic, but I find this to be pretty a, a necessary tab these days if you're active at all on Pinterest, since that's, I mean, at least for me, it's a really big traffic driver. So as I'm testing out a lot of different apps and tabs and templates within ShortStack, I'm using this Facebook page, JLD Sandbox. Uh, so feel free to, to like it or check it out. But uh, you can see a lot of the different templates showcased here. Um, so I've really, I, I haven't done much of anything with, with these. It's just kind of an example of what you can do. So this is, this is Virtual Gifts. Um, it's it's pulled pulls in from a, a template within short stack photo gallery um, if, if you look at my tutorial I think I have a better example of photo galleries there on a page that that I've created but here again there's photo gallery if you're a photographer I think this is pretty useful video uh, we saw an example of that already Pinterest we did as well, um, RSS feed, we could show that. Uh, contest, I think, is a good one to show, so I'll bring that up real quick. So I did with this one, it's, it's more than just a contest template, actually. There's a, a template to use custom tabs. So this is actually bringing in four different contest templates all within one tab. Um, so here, it's kind of an entry form. And, and you can view the entries and you can vote. This is, you know, telling your story. It's your sweepstakes. So enter, enter your information below to, to enter the sweepstakes. The photo contest, provide your name and email, submit your photo. And you can vote for the entries and video as well. So since there's so many rules with Facebook contests, it, te it tends to be that people either just you know, blatantly break the rules, or they just, they venture forward not knowing if they're breaking them or not, or they just don't run contests at all. But if you use a, uh, an app like um, ShortStack, this, this will help you a lot. And I, I highly recommend that you use it uh, to, to run your contests. So that's it for now, but I'll be providing a whole lot more in the future on this, this topic, some tutorials and whatnot. But for a much more detailed review. Make sure you read my uh, blog post on this topic at johnlumber.com. So for more on this and other topics relating to Facebook marketing, go to johnlumber.com or you can like my page on Facebook at John Lumber Digital. Thanks.